Yo, what's up? What's up, YouTubers? This is Chris with another uh, film review. Uh, I can talk about uh, The Hills Have Eyes, unrated. Um, this is the remake. It's not the original. Um, I haven't seen the original yet. Uh, but I've seen this one in the... Yeah, this movie, when I first saw it, was another movie that, that I really, really liked, enjoyed. Um... It's basically, uh, if you don't know what it's about, it's it's this family that goes on a trip, on a vacation trip, and they get uh, stranded on the desert, the deserted area, big desert, you know, um, and uh, it's kind of in the middle of nowhere. And uh, they start, uh, they just like camp there, and then all this weird stuff happen starts happening, um, you know, these... Uh, I guess you could call them these mutants. Uh, they start, you know, like you know, messing with uh, with the family. They start, you know, one by one killing them. Uh, the movie is really, I guess, some people thought it was really disturbing or too disturbing, and some people just really didn't like it because it was too, it was just too, uh, too disturbing and too violent for some people. And I can kind of see why, because the movie is really, it's really violent. I mean, it's just, some parts were messed up, I thought, and some parts were like, were cool. Um, but this movie really, yeah, it's one of those movies that kind of stands out. I watched it, and I knew I had to get, I had to get it on DVD. Um, everybody in the movie does a good acting performance. Uh, you got the kid, you got the sister, you got the dad, the mom, and you got the mutants. But not all the mutants are bad in this movie. That little girl that was a mutant, she, she was like the, I guess the good out of the whole bunch. Uh, but yeah, this is the unrated version. I guess it's the version you couldn't see in theaters. And, uh... It has a lot of special features. Uh, it has audio commentary. It's got a Surviving the Hills, uh, Making of Hills of Eyes documentary. Production diaries, a uh, music video. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, clocks in at 108 minutes. And it's done by, uh, I guess I'll say Alexander Haja. I think that's the, how you say, say his name. And he's done some pretty, I think he did a high tension. I think he, he kind of did some work on that movie. Maybe, I don't know if he directed it, but he does some, some pretty, pretty good horror stuff. Um, so yeah, I can kind of, you know, if you ever watch high tension, he's the kind of the same guy who worked on this movie. And, uh, he's a pretty good director, a uh, pretty good writer. Um, yeah, so basically this movie, I didn't see any theaters, but I kind of wish I did. <laughs> but yeah, if you, if you haven't seen this, uh, go check it out, but I'm pretty sure you have, but I'm just doing a film review because I, it's one of my favorite horror movies that I watched in a while. Um, so yeah, Hills of Eyes Unrated, part one. Um, I'm not going to cover the sequel because the sequel is just garbage. I watched it and it's, you know, sequels always fuck everything up, so. So, yeah, uh, that's, that's basically by, you know, what I got to say about Hills of Eyes. Uh, go check it out, y'all. Peace.